This episode is brought to you by Audible. Click on the link below or go to audible.com slash rogue or text rogue, R-O-G-U-E, to 500-500 to be a cool guy. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, also, you'll get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. But he was serious about the coolness. You will be cool. That's you. Are you dead? I want Trevor. Me too. The basics of parkour. We are here at Lachey Movement Company. I have never seen Murphy more excited for an episode of The Modern Road. I am very excited to leap off of something and shatter both of my ankles and then go into <laughs> cardiac arrest. <laughs> We're meeting Dimitri and Eric. Tell me about Lachey Movement Company. Well, Lachey Movement Co. is a movement studio where we have everything from silks to pole fitness, gymnastics, parkour. This whole thing is a giant playground. <laughs> exactly, adult playground. That's what we got here. How did you guys get into parkour? Uh, ever since I was a kid, been jumping off of things and and uh, wanted to be a stuntman. Then in college, I started seeing these videos of guys doing crazy things, and that's when I discovered parkour and realized that, oh wow, there's like a right way to do all of these things. Well, that was the interesting thing. Before we started, you were mentioning that in many ways, you start off knowing parkour as kids, and yeah. then it's like you, you learn to forget it as an adult. But what you're telling me though is, you, you don't have a degree or a certification in parkour? <laughs> okay, Dimitri, how did you get into parkour? Um, so first I did all the sports in high school, basketball, football, all, diving, all these things. Same. And, um, I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't like, it's not true, go ahead. He's just laughing. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the whole scoring aspect and uh, parkour is a little bit more of a, an art. Um, you get to express yourself a little bit more. And I picked it up about 11 years ago. Really? Yeah. All right, I've got a question, Dimitri. What is the difference between parkour and free running? Parkour is more about efficiency. So you'll use parkour to maybe get over a wall or get over an object uh, if you're getting chased by somebody or chasing somebody. Free running is more about being showy and doing more tricks. And it's really not about getting from point A to point B the fastest. It's about how can you throw in your style and do really impressive stuff. Okay, so it's more like uh, skateboard freestyling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, it's more about tricks. Uh, I think we're going to focus on not breaking anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so speaking of which, start. Yeah, 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 that's my question. Where do we start? Oh, we're going to start with how to land and how to roll. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Done. All right. So the most fundamental thing in parkour is learning how to fall. Okay. So we've got Kian here. He's going to show us first how to we want to land. And yeah, it's like in a deep squat position, nice shallow bend in the knee. And we want to try and keep our heels up off the ground on our tippy toes. Yeah, so that's how we're going to absorb all the impact of that fall into our legs, because okay. those are our strong muscles, right? So go ahead and hop down into a nice landing position. Yeah, nice. I, I feel like I can do this. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. <laughs> Number one, he wasn't afraid to get more height. You don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you guys but, can just step off. But even then, how afraid of height should should you be? If, is it a case where if your legs are strong enough, you'll be able to absorb the impact? Or Absolutely, yeah. Right? If you follow Eric's instructions. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a combination of strength and technique. I recommend that you start small and then build up your height as you get more confident in your form. Okay, uh, one thing I noticed in how he landed, his feet were pretty close together. Is there any guidance on that? Like wide um, stance or? About shoulder width is your strongest base. I'm gonna do it, just feel free to tell me how wrong I am on everything. So it seems like just, was that, that was not very stable. I couldn't even <laughs> stop without having to hop forward again. Yeah, yeah, so you had a little extra forward momentum when you landed. Just try and keep your shoulders over your hips more. You, okay. are, you had a little bit of a lean in okay. your jump. There you go, yeah. And so another thing we shoot for in parkour is being really quiet. Because if you're quiet, that means you're efficiently absorbing the impact with your muscles. So I noticed you made a big sound I when did. you came down, which meant a lot of impact. High impact. And if you didn't have these springs here, that could have resulted in some ankle issues oh, or something. Okay, and go That's for what it. we want to avoid. So get okay. the form down here so we can take it higher up. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, you, you had that form. Oh, you were momentum, not afraid to get right? high Makes there. it tough. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Is that quiet? Yeah. That was good. All right. <laughs> Oh man, again. You're kind of flapping your arms a little bit in the air. <laughs> <Why>? Great. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the arms really help with stability. So keep them out in front. Don't let them come back here. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I still felt like, oh. <laughs> You still wanted to flap a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to jump so high either. Okay. Yeah. We're more focusing on the landing right now. Keep that this good. tight. So okay. you don't want to loosen so up on that and one, let your I... shoulders fall behind. That's why you keep falling backwards. Uh oh. Keep it tight. So that way your center of mass is over your feet, not behind your feet. Okay. Right? So stay tight here. Gotcha. There you go. Wow, that was way better. Yeah. yeah. Much that better. was that was totally in yeah. control. You gotta focus on that keeping your center of balance like Yeah. Yeah. Inspire landing too. You don't you don't need to look ahead necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's better to focus on your Where target. Are you gonna land? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. Good. I like the breathing too. Oh, right on. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> For most of the stuff we do, it helps to start on an inhale and then exhale through the motion. The higher you go, the, the more you have to be conscious of how deep you're going. Because if you get all the way to here, all the pressure is going to come out of your knees. Oh, so yeah. You, so you have to engage your thighs. Don't right. let your butt come past your knees. This is as far as you should go. OK. Right? okay. So you engage your foot, engage your calf, engage your thighs. So you stop here. Controlling your landing. Right, control descent, exactly. Yeah. OK. Nice. Oh, good. Yeah. That was much quieter, too. Uh, start rolling on the ground. So we're going to start from our knee. So one knee down. Good. And then we're going to make a triangle with our hands. We're going to shift out. So a parkour roll is not symmetrical like a somersault. Got oh. it. It's very one side, more like an Aikido roll or something like that, OK? OK. So we're going to be leading with this shoulder. And this is the beginning of the curve that we want to continue all the way through the roll. OK. See this nice curvature right here? We never go in with locked elbows but firm, okay? So you're taking some of your weight on your hands first, and then slowly lowering the shoulder down to the ground, and then letting your hips go over with the roll. So in kind of slow motion, it looks like this. And you want to end with the foot uh, tucked underneath right here. If you keep it out in front, it acts like a break, and you kind of run into your own leg. So it's much easier to come up over your hips if that trailing leg is tucked up underneath you. Okay. okay. So, so let's uh, break it down again real slow. Yeah. Triangle. Hands come to the ground. And I'm going to open my head this way to open up some space here so that my head doesn't even touch the ground if you do it right. Well, you're not even tucking or anything with your head. That's, that's the... It's more, yeah, it's more of a tilt than a tuck. A tuck can create a pinch if the ground comes down here. And that's what we want to avoid. So... It's more out, and the shoulder is the next thing that's contacting. And it looks like it's not a case of you throwing your body forward. It looks like your back leg is kicking yourself. The legs are just lifting the hips up and over. So okay. uh, minimal kick to start. We're trying to go slow and controlled. But ultimately, yeah, you're, you're extending the legs to lift the hips up and over. Nice. Like that? Yeah. Hey, I did it. Great I job. Did thing. <laughs> Those are naturals. Kind of. Good. Ah, I nearly bowled Tuck over backwards. Tuck that back leg, yeah. Tuck it back. You don't necessarily want to like scoop the hands. Mm -hmm. They really want to provide a little bit of catch. Okay. So you're lowering yourself down onto the ground. Okay. Uh, people that scoop have a tendency to just drop their shoulder onto the ground. Oh, that'll hurt. And yeah. do, do you want to come out of the roll and just spring up or you just want to stop at the end of the roll? Ideally, we want to have enough momentum to oh, keep wow. going. Do it. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, that was the thing. Nice. Yeah, uh, it feels like a line that goes just straight up or down, all the yeah. way down to this back hit, yeah. and then you just pop right and then back diagonally up. across, that's right. Wow, okay. And that way we avoid rolling directly on the spine. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice, that was good. Tuck so, that back leg, though. Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Your leg's still out here, though. My, my right leg? Yeah. Here, I'm going to help you fine tune it. So right here, this is where you're coming up, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put your right hand down. OK. All right, so right now your foot's like this. So go ahead and put it here. And then go ahead and come up. And yeah, and lay that it. foot flat. Yeah. Oh, like on the follow through. Yeah. Really tuck it in there. Yeah. Exactly. And you can lean into your right hand a little bit more to help you up. Yep. There okay. you go. Just yeah. like that. At what point do you break the triangle? So he's trying to get you to do it with full momentum. So that's that's preferred. So when you're coming up, you you stay like this. So oh, your okay. momentum will transfer you up. When you're when you're just starting, if it's difficult to come up, 
right after you get your head passed, right after it's safe, then you can put your right hand down and help yourself up. Yeah, the triangle thing is really just for the beginning and, and taking on that first initial lowering down to the ground. And after that, you can break the triangle. Okay. So. There you go. Yeah. So let's try to do two more like this. And okay. then we're going to start from standing. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right on. Okay, so. Nice. Oh, that was your best one. I think so. Okay, here, let's go the other way now. So I, I did notice that you almost flipped into yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, I can feel it right here too. And that's from like pulling those mm -hmm. those hands in. So yeah, really reach out and make sure you're Use it to pushing. guide you. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're doing it from standing? Correct. Okay, what does that look like? So we're gonna start with straddled feet, and after that, it's the same thing. Triangle, gently lowering the shoulder down on firm, firm arms, and then follow through the same way. Oh, Good. that's actually even easier, because yeah. the momentum takes care of itself. So. Nice. Ah. That always helps to set up your feet like this, if your feet start like this, your body just wants to do a somersault. Or was that all right? Don't add energy going into it. Got it. Right. Yeah, so if that's you punch, scoop. you're adding more to your leg. <laughs> so you'll just want to push out with your legs and place your hands there and use just this to absorb. So you'll go out. So if you could go through uh, a little bit of a dive with y'all, because y'all are rolling pretty well. Sure. So we'll do a little bit of a dive roll here in a second. Okay. Um, so right now you're going, you're loading up. Like you're gonna strike. Yeah. You're giving them the. Yeah. 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 The, okay. Yeah. So you're so on no battlegrounds that. punch. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Plant those hands. The same thing we went over with our legs applies to our arms. So you don't want to just tap and collapse. I'll, I'll I'll exaggerate all the motion. You land. And you absorb, so you mm. control it all the way through. Yeah. You'll never do it that slow in practice, but it's good. Controlled to, yeah. resistance. Right. Exactly. Yeah. All right. You ready? Same time. Synchronized okay. rogues. Let's do it. Ready, three, two, one. Nice. Oh, that was, did you guys practice this before? <laughs> I think you guys are ready to know about our secret organization. <laughs> this is actually a recruiting mission. Now we're gonna work up to the dive roll, and to do that, we're gonna just start extending where our hands meet the ground out further. Okay. So right now, our hands are coming in right here, and so a lot of our weight is easily going over, and so we're gonna start reaching out a little bit further and then a little bit of a hop if you if you can muster it. Yeah, okay. Work up to it. Start small. You can even just do the same thing you've been doing and just feel it out a little bit more, a little bit more, a little okay. bit more. Are you at any point completely in the air? I mean, well, you we will can be. be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you do the when you do the leap. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not yet, but that's what we're going for. I get it all in my head. I, <laughs> I know. I, I can't uh, yeah. Yeah, if you ever get confused or it's too much or your body is just like, no, nah, that doesn't make sense, just go back to what you know. You Got know? it. Just go back up a step. Okay. Oh, Oh, that was a somersault. That was, yeah. yeah. So may maybe I'll make it kind of a, a last minute thing. Oh, I found myself loading and it up. And it'll line up more. So, so after you're done, run at me. So you don't want to be going this way. So sometimes we land on a small strip of something and we still have to roll. We don't want to go like this. Sideways. Oh, yeah. The so you building want, you want it to be a straight line. <laughs> yeah. So you're just going. Ooh, there you I go. Get, was that good? Yeah, yeah. That was better. Great. Nice. Cool. All the placement is great. You're just adding too much energy into it. So you're almost front flipping. Like, I'll exaggerate what y'all are doing. Uh, yeah. So yeah. my yeah. hands should touch first. My, my body shouldn't be so, over my hands before. Okay. Like and your hands should be actually breaking some of the, the, yeah. the pressure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all of this. Okay, so if it may be more like a... That's slowing down for sure. Okay. I like it. There you go. Yeah. You can tell because it's quieter. You can call yourselves out. Tuck. Still, still underneath. Did I, did I still, you're you're, yeah. re, you're really about? wanting to put your foot flat. You want this whole part of your leg to be flat on the ground, contacting the ground. Okay. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Nice. So now we're going to be jumping off this block. We always like to start small, learn the technique, and build up that muscle memory, and then apply it to larger things. Okay. I'm going to step off, 
I'm gonna land with staggered feet, and then I'm gonna drop right into that roll. Okay. All right? Okay. Ah, because I thought you were just gonna dive bomb and just no, tumble no, no, forward. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's jumping onto the legs first, yeah. and then from there, it's the same roll as going from standing. So if I'm getting it right, that initial thing we worked on, uh, mm -hmm. that, that shock absorber, exactly. and, but you're still gonna have forward momentum because theoretically you're running from building to building, and this is a way to keep that momentum going forward. Correct. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> How did that feel? Yeah. Uh, wrong, it felt very wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong. A big thing is you also don't want to stop. Because if you yeah. stop, you essentially landed just with your legs. <laughs> right. Right. So lean forward just a little bit so you'll land and then transition. Yeah, there was very much a boom. Yeah. Better. Better. Eric, can you can you do it one more time? Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, go ahead and watch it. Watch his legs before he rolls, because right now uh, you're landing very rigid, tucked. Notice he'll have his legs extended. So think of a um, a car with crumble points, right? You have to land with your legs long so that you can absorb. Because if you crashed an already oh, crashed yeah. car, got it. It's yeah. hurt, right? Yeah. Like I don't want to jump off like this, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I want to jump off with before. length and then oh. use that length there to you absorb. Go. Okay. Got it. Jump off, staggered. Got it. So just think of it as like two moves. One is just absorbing the downward shock, and then the second one is just slowing down the forward momentum. Yes, and then connecting them as seamless as you can. Got it. Stagger those feet. Okay, you want me to land with the, the feet staggered? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, although that was a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Better. Mm -hmm. uh, better. The only thing I saw is that you you were fully stopped and then started yeah. again. <laughs> if it feels fluid, then you're doing it right. It's getting better. I'm going to do what I do with my kids. After you come out of it, come give me a high five. Because if you're thinking rounding your shoulders and rolling backwards, it's it's bad form to aim your back I towards, keep the, directing doing of your, towards yeah. the direction of your energy. Got it. So give me a high five after you're done. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That was a, there was a bit, bit of, of a bounce. dive to your back. Lead with your hands. Okay. And then absorb here. Don't lead with just the shoulder. Okay. Awesome. So oh. now I'm going to stand closer to you, and I want you to slow it down enough to where you've dissipated all that energy. Okay. When you get to me. Use those hands. That was a good roll. <laughs> Use the hands, though, to slow you down. Because everything's soft, it feels more OK than it is. I want you to use your arms to okay. absorb. Like you said, firm and then controlled descent. Nice. There we go. Hands. Much yeah. better hands. Yeah, just imagine if this was concrete or something. You know, you wouldn't want to be dropping onto your shoulder like that. You would really want to be gentle using oh, the wow. hands. You're going to dive over the noodle. OK. So. Yeah. Very nice. I'm being picky, like you, you're definitely doing it better. I just want you to get used to using these big muscles because right now you're just bar barely tapping mm -hmm. the pressure that they can hold. Got it. Use them. Oh, ooh, that was good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got it. That's good from coach. Good absorption, you dove a little bit too yeah. high. It's, it's not a front flip, it's a dive more so than a front flip. Okay. Okay, yeah. so think way less front flip. Ooh, Ooh yeah, there you go. Nice. I slowed it down too. Yeah, that was good. I think you guys are doing great. It's time to up it up a notch. So we're gonna come over to this big block and have you guys do the same thing, but from a higher level. Right on, not that it'll go wrong. All right, it's good, I'm good. So he's gonna show us how to jump from this height down to the mat, absorb, roll. So when he landed, remember, just like we talked about over there, it's even more important the higher you go. So you land long and then start going to your squat. Then you get low and then you roll, right? So lengthen body, then absorb, and then roll. Do you, just so coiling yourself like a spring. You're yeah. just shrinking it down. Yeah. And, exactly. So you start the roll with your legs all the way down? Yeah, because you want to get, well, pretty, I'd say pretty close because you get full, full absorption and then you start hopping out. So you want it basically that spring back, because if you just landed, you're gonna go down and spring back up. The only difference is you're gonna land and you're gonna spring forward right. instead. Okay. You just don't want your hips to drop below your knees. Okay. If you're so. going all the way down here, it's really hard to roll out of that. Got it. And remember to land staggered feet 
And try not to jump higher. Like, you already have plenty of height. <laughs> yeah. That's another muscle memory thing, though, because I think, mm -hmm. let's yeah. leap. You know? Yeah. OK. It takes some, it takes some time to, to fine tune it. But mm -hmm. the landing it, felt, I didn't, I didn't feel in control of, my, of the compression of my legs. I mean, in theory, the height shouldn't make that big of a difference. But, uh, but it does. <laughs> you it know, does. Newton would disagree, but OK. <laughs> Awesome. Good. Was that good? That was good. Yeah. Hey! You all ever do squats? Yeah, sure. No. Right, so you, you never squat like this, right? Right. You would never just drop. It's, this, it's the same thing. You're trying, you're trying to, to match the weight and so slowly when, absorb it. When they're doing squats, they're always on me about, you know, going power through the heels. But this is all balls of the feet, right? Yeah, more so I'm talking about the controlled descent of the squat. You wouldn't just drop the weight and hope to catch it at the bottom. It's Got the, it. It's the same thing here. You engage the whole way through, not just at the end. Better timing, engage a little bit more. I'm going to stand in front Remember of you again. High five, high five. Yeah, high five. I'll, I'll do it a couple right, here, of times. Let's just keep on going. It's especially here because it's easy to go towards a pole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That looked great. It up. felt pretty good. That looked great. You could see all the energy get absorbed, and you just naturally rolled that momentum forward. That was awesome. There you go. Say square off your shoulders, stag the legs, so you can go out like this. You're going like this. Yeah. And you're diving with that shoulder. Really face your chest. So keep, keep the chest straight forward. Right. So forward here, long body. So your energy is going this way the whole time. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> you landed your feet here and you placed your hands here. Oh, so okay. that means you're going to have to front flip to get any type of roll in. Yeah. So think about that noodle. Now that we don't have it, you have to visualize it. Okay. Yeah, your hands should be on the yellow. Oh, wow. Okay. Like one foot here, one foot here, hands at least on the yellow. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's good. That was Looks it. good to me. I keep right, saying that is, that's good. Oh, like yeah, I know. You go. I got your high five right here. All right. That's good. That's okay. So that's I know. It. That's oh. the only thing. I just got to keep the chest forward. Yep. Oh. A, a little too much front flip. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> too much close. front flip. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. That was? It was the, good? The roll okay. was good. It was a little fast, but it was good. Well, and uh, I think having uh, that so much farther out, it, it, it just made me want to leap and take more space. Yeah. yeah. Too much front flip. Too much front flip, again. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a little taller, so you have to put your body in a longer position. You don't, you wouldn't be landing in the same spot he's landing at. Just remember fatigue is the thing, especially, oh, like, yeah. especially yeah. if you don't use these in the time, in the timing that we're using them. Well, and that's the thing is I can feel our form getting sloppier and yep. sloppier as we get tired. Yeah. yeah. Good. So the roll's good. Just got to slow it down. Got and, it. And that's going to be a thing like you're always going to work on. I'm always working on it. Eric's always working on it. Speed is the last thing we add. Yep. All right, Dimitri. What's our progress report here? Eric was able to show you how to land properly, how to dive roll, how to combine the two, and how to go from a little bit higher. So I think what you need to work on is slowing it down, adding a little bit less energy. Because otherwise, you're going to be making all of the same mistakes, only really fast. Yeah. <laughs> And what you need to work on is absorption. Slow it down at the beginning. All right, so here's the question. Can you show us uh, how this would be integrated into a parkour routine? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude. Yeah, showtime. OK, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he hardly made a sound. <laughs> That's I'm, amazing. I make more noise climbing into bed. <laughs> it was dead silent. Oh, man. Eric Dimitri, uh, if people want to come do this, where should they head over to? Check out LacheMove.com. Awesome. I made it. I'm alive. Hey. Uh, That's two for two. I don't think anything's broken. <laughs> that was our goal. That was uh, our goal. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to bet we're going to be a little sore tomorrow. <laughs> I got a problem these days. Oh, uh, is the rash back? <laughs> no, no. I mean, like, there is no gap of time too small for me to get bored with life and immediately dip back into Audible. I was taking out the garbage after a shoot. The hundred yards from oh. there to there, I was just like, just a little bit more. You I'm start fine. finding little moments where you can use and access this treasure trove of stories. Well, and some of them are obvious, like on your trip from point A to point B, you're not doing anything important. Might as well lose yourself in a story. But it's those little things, everything from washing the dishes to walking the dog mm -hmm. to 
taking out the trash. Yeah, standing in line somewhere. Yeah, well, and nowadays it's even easier because along with the app, you can also transfer your story at exactly the point you're at onto your Amazon Echo. You're listening with earbuds, walk in the door, and you say, Alexa, continue playing Ryan Holiday's Conspiracy. Yeah, it's like the Whisper Sync. You can go from your Kindle to your app. Now you can go from your app to the Echo. Audible is taking on Big Bookmark. They're taking bookmarks <laughs> down. All right, so what are you reading right now? I'm reading The Dream Quest of Velvet Bow by Kidge Johnson. It is is a retelling of a classic H.P. Lovecraft story. What? Which one? Did you, did you read uh, the original? Oh yeah, many times. The Horror at Red Hook. Uh, <laughs> it takes a lot of H.P. Lovecraft's unseemly racism and kind of looks at it through a different lens. Wait a minute. Oh, so it doesn't whitewash everything, or I guess it does oh. the reverse of whitewashing it. It looks at it from a 21st century perspective. It acknowledges it and makes it a part of the story. Dude, that's amazing. You heard me mention Ryan Holiday's new book. It is utterly fantastic. If you enjoyed any of his other stuff, it's about the Gawker versus Hulk Hogan trial. Only oh. it's told through the lens of somebody who understands Marcus Aurelius and Stoicism, and it's called Conspiracy because Peter Thiel formed a conspiracy that lasted six years and destroyed Gawker. He basically said, I think Gawker is a bad thing. I'm gonna commit my time, resources, and energy. I will tell no one for six years, and now they're gone. I can't even decide what to get at the drive through at Arby's. It is chilling and exciting and uh, totally engrossing. There's a reason I'm reading it everywhere I go now. You can go to audible.com forward slash rogue and get a free trial for 30 days where you can listen to a free book. Yeah, man, that's audible.com slash rogue, R-O-G-U-E. Please, for the love of God, don't spell it wrong. Yeah, you could text rogue to 500-500 and get the same deal. Audible has changed my life. I read 30 to 40 nonfiction books every year and it's all thanks to Audible. Thank you, Audible. You're my secret lover. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Your my secret heart's desire. Got okay, weird. <laughs>